live. And it's Sunday night. It's Sunday fun day. So, here's what I want you to do. If you're love, what the hell's top, what the hell's over in the comments or over in the comments or over or over or over in the comments. If you love, oh, I messed that one up. If you love what the hell's top, what the hell's, yeah, yeah. If you love what the hell's and you love making them sales, if you love what the hell's top, what the hell's, yeah, there we go. You got a lot of people typing. Debbie Grubbs says, what the hells? Conky's wife, Noreen, says, what the hells? Rick Williams says, what the hells? James Aaron Smith, what the hells? Matthew Davidson, what the hells? Look at that. James Proctor, what the hells? You love what the hells? Top what the hells? If you love what the hells? Top what the hells? Yeah, yeah. Look at, look at, look at. Nancy Adams even loves what the hells. If you love what the hell's and you love making them sales, yeah, J Jackie Drake loves it. If you love what the hell's, type what the hell's. Oh, Re Rebecca said first time catching up. All right. Woo, what a hell's of a week. Uh, if it could happen, it probably did happen. So while everybody is typing what the hails, including Philip and Patricia and Gail Moore and Kathy Bailey and everybody else, Ebony Smith, here's what I really want to know. Did you see the episode this week where we sold the Harley Davidson to Mike Wolf of American Pickers? All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to type one if you actually saw the episode. Type two if you haven't. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, it was uploaded on Friday. Oh, look at this. Everybody, one, 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 one. I saw some sevens. One, 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 one. We oh, Teresa Thompson hasn't seen it yet. Okay, here's how you actually go and see it. Uh Juan hasn't seen it yet either. So if you actually get on YouTube and you type in what the hails and you find the channel, you want to click on the channel and there will be a tab in there somewhere that says videos or it will say playlist. You can hit videos or playlist. Playlist will give you the ultimate what the hails binge list. Everything we've ever done, it's in chronological order and it'll play for you in chronological order. And you can actually pick which video you actually want to start on. But if you hit the video tab, you can go back a couple days to Friday where we upload the actual video of us selling the vintage Harley Davidson to none other than Mike Wolf of American Pickers. Now, end it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We got quite a few cliffhangers this week because we asked you to actually guess how much it sold for. And there have been a ton of guesses in the comments, no doubt about it whatsoever. I actually saw one, I saw one that was correct, but there are a whole bunch of others that are close and some that are so far off. So, <laughs> and Debbie Vaughn says, love that shirt, Jeremy. Got it from, I got it from Mike through Joey uh, from American Pickers is absolutely incredible. Uh, I see people putting in their guesses now. That's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to throw your guesses back in because tonight, I'm going to tell you exactly how much we got paid for the vintage Harley Davidson by Mike for American Pickers. Because we left you on the cliffhanger, but don't worry. We're going to wrap it all up. We're going to close it nice and neat tonight. And you're going to know exactly how much it sold for. Remember, we went halvesies in on that unit. This is the very first unit I've ever gone halvesies in on. And that was with Second Sense Inc. in Cleveland. That was with Rob and his crew. Now, Rob has his own auction house. So it was very easy for me to go, yeah, let's go have these. What that did for both of us, it kept the price down. Neither of us had to pay a, a you know astronomical price. And then Rob could sell everything through the auction house, which was absolutely incredible as well. All right, let's see some of the guesses, okay? 
because I see him coming over over here. I've got the laptop over here. Uh, I'm going to pull up some of the guesses. Uh, we've got Amanda Smith said 11,500. Amanda, incredible guess. Unfortunately, it's wrong. Uh, Ebony Smith said buffering. Ebony, if you're buffering, hit that refresh button and that should clear it out for you, okay? Uh, Melanie Hawkins said $10,000. How incredible would that be to buy a unit for $960 and sell one item, well, a couple items, an engine as well, and get $10,000 just like that because it happens every day, but that's not the amount. Okay. Uh, we've got Patricia Pyle says 15,700. Very good guess, Patricia. Uh, we've got Ken Wisner at $25,000. Another great guess. Granny Doe says 7,600. While Nick G says, what's up, Jeremy? Nick G, what's up with you? You guys remember that Eddie Murphy song? What's up? What's up? What's up with you? That was back when I was a kid. Now he's doing. Now he's doing the Dolomite movie, which obviously bought that unit too. Um, John Ellis said the bike sold for five thousand eight hundred dollars, and the engine sold for one thousand one hundred. Good guess. Good guess. Tony Crux says, "Why don't you have lenses in your glasses?" Tony, I have no idea what you're referring to. All right, so all of you guys, all 601 of you right now, have great guesses. Uh, who's the, Nick just, wait, hold a second. Nick just sent a super chat. Uh, great guesses on the amounts. That amount will be, that will be shared with you by the end of the live stream tonight. I will tell you exactly how much the bike sold to Mike Wolf with American Pickers. Nick Dunwoody sent $5 super chat. <laughs> New fist. Uh, nice job, Nick. He says, is Manny the mannequin on a date with George? Um, well, at least I still have Jeffrey. Uh, so here we go. Um, so honestly, I didn't realize that Manny was gone. So Nick, good question. Not sure to be honest with you because Manny was at the warehouse working on, uh, displaying some things and not sure what's going on. Let me see here. Uh, Jenny, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I think that's a phone number from a song. And Storage Scavenger says, George said on Boss Babes last night, 7,600. I can assure you, Storage Scavenger, that that is incorrect. So that is not the correct amount, uh, but we will share that with you by the end of the evening. But before we get to that, we've got other cliffhangers too, because we have this disc that we found in a unit that are promised to share with you what's on it. And there is something on it. And then we also have two memory cards. Now, one of them were shown on the actual video. The other one was found later, okay? So a lot of times what will happen as we're going through the items, we go through it click quickly and we video it. And then later on, we go through it, fine tooth comb. We do a really, really good sort. And so another actual card was found. So there are two and a disc to go over tonight. Jaden Sorrows just sent $2. It's my birthday. Can I get a shout out? Jaden, you want a birthday shout out? Uh, how about we just we just give you a birthday fist pump? Are you ready, Jaden? Because it goes like this. Here we go. It's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Happy birthday, Jaden. There's your fist pump right there, buddy. It's okay. Calm down, fist. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. And uh, I just saw somebody else guessing. So don't worry. We're going to get to the amount, I promise. We'll get to that amount tonight. We're going to get to this as well. And again, if you have not seen that episode, that episode is awesome because we get a 
great education on vintage motorcycles. And that's a really cool thing for us because that is one thing that everybody would love to find in a storage unit. And we are fortunate enough to find one. That is really cool. So all that being said, we've got mail, two pieces of mail. And so you know what that means, mail song. Here we go, if I can remember it. Do you guys remember how the mail song goes? Uh, we are gonna get the mail. I don't remember how it goes. It's like something like. Is that, that's it, right? We got mail. There we go. All right. We have two pieces of mail from the same person. Mick Draper has been going on a mail spree. I got the knife. Mick Draper has been going on a mail spree and actually sent two pieces of mail. I went back to the actual uh, P.O. box today, and I went to check that out as well. 706 watching. Just a reminder, we're going to tell you exactly how much we sold the Harley Davidsons for, and we're going to get into what's on this disc and on these cars. All right, first letter. I got to do these in order, Mick, because... And Mick is in Florida where it's warm. I spent all day today freezing, literally freezing in a storage unit. And I mean, all day from the time I woke up, got ready, went out the door to the time I came back, which was just recently. Uh, I spent an entire day filming freezing. And here's Mick from Florida. Okay, let's find out what Mick has to say. And I think, oh, this is the one I picked up today. All right, this one says, let's, oh, look at that there. Looks like a Christmas card. Let's see. It says, may the blessings of Christmas fill your heart with peace and joy throughout the year. Praying this is another year for y'all, Mick Draper. Thanks so much, Mick. Truly appreciate it. There you go. Absolutely love it. And probably, it's probably going to go right up here somewhere on the back wall, all the fish netting. Crazy thing is that stuff actually goes up the wall, and uh, you guys can't see all that. And let's see what Mick has to say in letter number two. Okay? Letter number two. Here we go. We've got, oh, look at that. Uh, if this, hold a second, is this for me? No, this is for George George. So this is for George George of taking a risk. Um, you may understand why, you may not, but this is definitely a George George item right here from Mick. Happy holidays. <laughs> Wishing you peace, love, and joy this holiday season. Happy November to y'all, Mickey. All right, so there you have it right there. That's for George George. So George George from taking a risk. Uh, Mick sent you a little love in the P.O. box, a little raccoon love, because I think they all know how much you love raccoons. All right, I think I saw a super chat come through. Let me check that really quick. And I'm getting to it. Now, remember, if you want, if you got a question and you want it answered, the best way to get it in front of us is to actually send a super chat, just like Jaden did, and then... I know I saw it come up, but now I can't see it. It is. All right. Donna Heck says, where's George? I have no idea. Uh, it should say where the hails is George. Uh, and honestly, Donna, I think somebody else said, where's Manny? So I'm not much of a mathematician, but I can put two and two together. Uh, oh, and, and Justin Brown said, Jeremy, what about the laptop? Okay. I do have the laptop here. We've not yet to be able to actually power it up. So we didn't find the cord and it's dead right now. We have to get a cord to actually power the laptop up. So unfortunately, because the laptop isn't powered, we've got the disc and we have the two memory cards tonight. And we have how much we paid for for the vintage Harley Davidson, how much we were paid for. You guys already know how much was paid for, right? Okay. All right. Now, just a couple of housekeeping things. 
Uh, de- <laughs> so is it dead laptop? <laughs> Don't actually think it's dead. It just needs to be charged. So if I can get the right HP cord and it's different than the HP cord that I actually have, I think we'll be fine. And it's actually a widescreen, which I love the widescreens. So for example, this is my laptop that I show you when I put all the stuff in. And so I'm watching everything and you can actually see it's on a delay. There's about a 20 second delay. And so uh, there's a delay with what I do here and then what happens here. And I like widescreens because my hands are so big, they can actually fit on the keyboard. Smaller, smaller laptops don't do it for me. And so that that actual HP that we found is a nice widescreen. It's even I think it's got a couple extra inches on it. So which is also cool too. Okay, Jesse Cave just sent $5. We got to take care of that, right? Jesse, you ready? I think my fist pump just burped. All right. Jesse, American Pip uh, American Pickers always lowball and haggle, so I'd guess 5,700, nothing personal to Mike. Well, obviously, they're going to lowball and haggle. That's part of the process. They make money. That's called business. So no matter if you are self-employed or you work for somebody, your goal is always to buy low, sell high right? You've heard this in the stock market. And so that's the exact same thing with Mike, with American Pickers. That's the exact same thing that I do on a daily basis. I buy storage units. I get so much merchandise for such a cheap price. I buy low and then I sell it high. That's the goal. That's the goal for business. That's what makes business and capitalism such a great thing in our country. So that's a great thing, Jesse. Nothing personal to Mike whatsoever. We were just thrilled to actually work with him. It's kind of cool. It was a ton of fun. All right. Uh, Scott Olson said, how the hails is your finger? Uh, let's see. What video was that? Saturday night. Uh, you saw, I think, that my finger got smashed. Yeah, it was Saturday. So I'll show you what's happening with my finger. Uh, for those who are schemish, maybe look away. There's the, there's the chunk of skin that got taken out of my finger. And so that's how my finger is right now, uh, hitting it with alcohol and then all kinds of other things and just to keep it clean and then putting a glove on it. So it hurts, but what doesn't hurt at the age of 42? My entire body hurts. This is minor compared to the other things that hurt. I'd rather have this than other hurts in my life. I can assure you of that. Okay. Uh, oh, somebody just said, Justin Brown said, Jeremy George George is here. George George, if you weren't here in the beginning, uh, I got a letter for you in our P.O. box. And as you can see, it's definitely for you. And I'm just making sure that George George saw this, guys, for all 838 here. Happy holidays. It's from Mick Draper. I, I just, I can't understand why it would be all raccoon themed for George George, but... It is. So George, George, I actually have it here and I'll make sure you get that. So again, thank you, Mick. For those who are just jumping on, 847 of you, we will be announcing how much we got paid for the vintage Harley Davidson. And we also will be going through the disc and through the memory cards. Okay. Let's see if we can find, oh, Car Carlton Anderson said, put some super glue on that area where the skin was tore off, Jeremy. That's a good idea, Carlton. I was actually, I just cut the skin off because it was a flap. For those who are queasy, uh, it was a flap and it was kind of just hanging there. And I got it really cleaned out well this morning and I cut the skin off to get it get it cleaned even better. So super glue is a great idea. I just didn't do it. Uh, Grimes Fines just sent $4.99. Uh, Grimes Fines $4.99. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and share, 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 share. Share. Grimes Fines. Thank you for the super chat, Justin. Appreciate it. Okay. Thumbs up, everyone. Just a reminder, everything that's happening with YouTube, okay? If some of you are not getting notifications, and chances are most of you are if you're here right now, but you can help others that are having issues with notifications as well. What happens is yearly, YouTube kind of does a sweep uh, let's let's call it a fall cleanout process, not a spring cleanout process. And so there are there are people who create spam accounts 
let's say we get a hater on what the hails and then we block them, which people get blocked all the time. Then for them to be able to leave a negative comment, they'll create another spam account just for leaving negative comments. Well, YouTube doesn't like that. So what they'll do is they'll sweep the system, they'll clean the entire system and what happens is it really messes with your notifications. So some of you may be going, man, I am not getting notifications. Now, we absolutely see it for sure. We see it in the views. So we've, we've, where we've typically are over 100,000 views in a single day, we've been anywhere from 30 to 40,000 views. And that's because the notification system is all screwy. Now, I can say this past week, that's going up. We are closer to 80,000 views in a single day, which is much better. But the way to fix that, you go to the channel, What the Hails, you click on subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you don't have to click it again, but you click on the bell next to it, okay? That bell is your notifications bell. You click on it, and if you already have it clicked on, unclick it, click it again, and click the word all. And that will give you a notification every time we upload, every time we go live, okay? That's a great way to fix it for you. Uh, Peepo1952 just sent $10. Nice, not cold here in Southern Utah. It is definitely cold here in mid-Ohio. Thanks so much for the super chat. I'm not sure why my hawk fist is so mad that it's cold here, but nice there. All right. So uh, all that being said, uh, it is cold in Ohio and I, I'm definitely looking for a way out of Ohio to warmer weather. I'm hoping somewhere soon I can get out of Ohio and I can get to northern, to not northern, not northern, to nicer weather. Utah may be a great place to go. That would, Amanda Bruce says, who could hate what the hails or Jeebus? You'd be surprised, Amanda. <laughs> you would be surprised. All right. Did everybody have a chance to see the Restorage the Love video this weekend? Type a one. Type a one in the chat if you did. And I think, oh, here come all the ones. I think Ken Ryan saw it because Ken just sent $9.99. He said, always love that you get personal items back. To me, that's priceless. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Ken. Now, that, that particular unit, the story is, I'm going to give you a little bit more of the background story on that unit, okay? That unit was up in Cleveland, and a lot of you guys saw that unit. And it's when Manny actually got married. So there were three different um, three different mannequins in there, female mannequins. And it was evident they were female mannequins. <laughs> Ebony Smith says, why is everybody typing one? Because I told Ebony, I said, if, if you saw the Restores the Love video from yesterday, to go ahead and type one. So everybody here probably has their notifications working just great. And, um, and they saw the Restorage the Love video. Now, that unit, there was only one reason, one reason that uh, there's one reason why I bought that unit. It was for the mannequins. And honestly, it was just for a joke to make a funny video because we value humor. OK, now there for somebody who just said, hey, how could anybody hate what the hails? Not everybody likes funny. OK, but uh, for for me, I think it's an avenue and, and YouTube is a great avenue to bring joy and laughter into people's lives. So that's what we're going to continue to do. So bought it as a joke, found all these incredible things. But when I got it back to the actual warehouse, going through everything, there were there was just tons and tons of VHSs of personal personal occasions like birthdays and Christmases and Thanksgivings and you name it, right? You've got pictures, family pictures, tons of them going back generations, slides going back generations. And there's just all kinds of stuff all the way up to a casket crank. And which, which Devin eventually told me, he said, I think that was my grandma's. I'm not sure, but I think that was probably from my grandma's burial. And those types of things, we absolutely always want to try and get back. Now, I'm saying this from a point of view of somebody who's lost everything in his life. Um, 
And, and sometimes the, the haters, they'll say things like, yeah, I wish you, yeah, I hope you lose everything. What they don't realize is I already have in my life. I lost everything. I was literally living in a gutted house for three months with no utilities in the winter in Ohio. I was going around and getting wood from people's curb lawns just so I could keep my feet warm at night as I laid on a hardwood floor. So I've lost everything. That's, that's not really not an issue. So, uh, but Realizing when you lose all those sentimental things, every picture of your family, like I have none. I, I, I don't have any of those from my divorce. None were given to me. Uh, and, and I'm not okay with that. Uh, family ornaments. I have none for Christmas. Not a single one. None of them were given to me. Uh, I mean, you, it goes on and on and on and on. All of these things that you can't replace in regards to family. Uh, we absolutely want to try and give those things back all the time. And I'm sure the 913 of you watching, you would agree you would want to do some of those same things. And so it was great that I was up back up in uh, Cleveland and I was able to get a hold of Devin and Devin was able to come back and meet with me. And so what one of the things I did is I asked him, I said, is there anything else that I still have that that you and your mom want? He said, yeah. He said, can we get the uh, can we get the salon chair back? I said, absolutely. Not a problem. So I don't think you see that in the video. That's not a conversation that was videoed. But he had asked for the salon chair back because his mom, Anita, actually had a salon. And, and I said, I still have the mannequins, too. And he said, yeah, can we get one mannequin back? And I said, you want all three? Because all I wanted, I just wanted the mannequins to video that with with man. And he said, no, no. He goes, mom doesn't need all three, just one. If you can bring us the salon chair and one, if you still have those, I said, done deal. Next time I'm up at Cleveland, I'll make sure I bring those to you. So I'm going to get the salon chair back to his mom and a mannequin. And so I still have two spare female mannequins if anybody needs one. All right. Um, treasure hunting with D, $2. Somehow I got blocked. And treasure hunting with D, you're going to have to take that up with where you got blocked. I can tell you our policy here at What the Hales, anything negative, anything derogatory, anything at all, uh, it gets that that automatically gets you blocked on the channel. So that's our that's our standpoint. So we can't do anything for anybody else on another channel. And I'm gonna hit you with a fist pump for that. And Amanda Smith as well, because Amanda Smith sent $2.99 with a fist pump. And Hawk keeps smashing. My goodness. Hawk is all about the smashing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me scroll down and see what I can come up with here. Okay. Anna Shepard said, what the hell? Um, da -da 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 -da. Dolly said, so if I say I didn't get any cookies, would that get me blocked? Blocked. Busy. Blocked. Dolly, you're good. Um, all right. So Crackers Locker said that fist pump is loud. It's, it's a good fist pump. All right. Here's what we're going to do. 935. Oh, Lazy Walk and P. Hey, Lazy Walk and P, did you see the fire I had uh, also in the, in the rental property? So one of my rental properties caught fire. That was a nightmare. But the good news is all the insurance is taking care of it. But even better than that, everybody is happy. Everybody is safe. So that's good too. So lazy walk and pee. Oh! You just got yourself a fist pump. You it's okay, you Hulk. Calm down. Remind me of George. All right. So here we've got... We've got the first card. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put that in because remember, we're going to look at we're going to look at the disc, the two cards, and we're also tonight we're going to talk about how much we sold the Harley Davidson for. And as I put that that memory card in, Michael Doyle just sent five dollars. You know why? You know why I did it? Come on, anybody know why Michael did it? Cause, because, just because. He did it just because. What? Okay. Uh, I have up, up on the screen now the actual, I'll show you. I have the card up on the screen. So in on the screen, let's see if I can do it without glare. You can see there's two files there. Let me see if I can make them. I'll see if I can make them extra large so you can see the two files. 
extra large icon. Now I have to look at these first. I can't just show you every, oh, there's definitely stuff in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I made them extra large. So you can see there's two files there, okay? And I'm gonna click on the first one. Now this is the first memory card. I know you guys love this. Uh, this is the first memory card and there's a lot on it. There's definitely a lot on it. I'm scrolling to find appropriate to show you. Um, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you one thing on this card. Uh, I think, I think Conky's flipping life, you know, Conky's flipping adventures is going to appreciate this based on what he found in his unit. Wait until you see this. Uh, okay. How many do we have on right now? Like 900 it's, it's pulling up. It's thinking I'm pulling up the one picture. You know, you can see the lights, boom, lights. Camera, auction. Okay, it's pulling up the picture. You just wait until you see this. Wait until you see it. If it will come up, it should be coming up. Oh, it's coming up right now. Okay, I think. Yep, it just came up. Okay, there is a date on this. <laughs> wait until you guys see this. Um, there is a date on this. It is dated January 24th, 2008 at 11 58 and 46 seconds. And it actually has a name on it too. So, uh, here you go. What do you think that is? If you know what this is, go ahead, put it in the comments. I think Conky's Flippin' Adventures is going to know exactly what it is. He found three in his unit. But uh, I didn't find this in the unit. This is on the memory card. <laughs> okay, now look. Look right here. See that right there? There is an actual name tag on it. They named it. Let me see if I can zoom in on the name tag. Okay? Uh, this is crazy. Somebody said voodoo doll. No, not a voodoo doll. Let me see. Yeah, I can zoom in. I can. Okay, we're going to try zooming in. All right, I zoomed in on the name tag. Can anybody, oh man, this is not easy. Can anybody read that name? Can anybody read the name? If you can read the name, put put the guess of the name down in the in the comments as well. It's not it's not very clear. It's hard when I zoom in on it, but somebody actually they named it <laughs> for what it's worth. They named it. Um, that's 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 probably what I'm going to show you from this one. Yeah, well, there are some there's some actual there's some video clips, too. And yeah, OK, that's what that's. Yep, that's what I'm going to show you from this one. I'm going to close that out. Uh, so there you go. There's one. Okay, I'm going to set that one over here. We still have these two to go. And I'm going to I'm going to pop this one in now just in preparation while I get to your super chats. So I got the just because boom. I got to go all the way down. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Crocker's locker. Oh my, they took a picture of their blow up bow. Chica chica. Whoa, whoa. Um, let me see. Let me see the other. I gotta I gotta check out the other uh super chats that I missed here while I was showing you that. All right, Michael Doyle, I got five dollars just because treasure hunting with D got another two dollars. Will there be a normal eight premiere from Garland? My guess is Hales, yes, because he always is premiering. Uh, and then we have another super chat which is, I have to find it again. There we go, Jesse Cave. Jesse Cave sent $5. I hope you're ready, Jesse. Uh, you're supposed to smash. There we go, Hawk smashed. Uh, Jesse Cave <laughs> said, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter of the Bible. Nice job, Jesse. Appreciate you sending that. It would be an amazing thing if people actually practiced it, wouldn't it? 
All right. Um, all right, let's see what we got. If I can get all the way back down here. All right. I missed a super chat from my flipping life. I did. I'll see if I can find it. Hmm. Missed it or ignored it. One or the other. Um, I bet I know. I bet I know what he wants. Michael Doyle, Lazy Walking P. Uh, if I missed it, I can't find it. But I'll show you what I can find. Because we all know what my flipping life wants. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that almost feels, that feels better than antique archaeology. Hoodie 2.0. Woo! Yes. So we know what my flipping life wants. Ain't going to get it. Okay, let's see. We got some other super chats. Let's see if I can catch up with you guys here. Uh, we got Jesse Cave and Mama G. Mama G. Mama G. Grimes Finds is taking Sundays off. Everybody deserves a day off. Maybe one day I'll take one. All right. Mary Deathly Deals, $2.99. That is a selfie. Ew. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There you go, Mary. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a selfie. I'm not sure why it's on there, but the reality is it is on there. We got over 1,000 on the live stream right now. Remember, we are going to share with you exactly how much we sold the vintage Harley Davidson to Mike Wolf of American Pickers. We still have a memory card and an entire disc to go through. Actually, I'm going to put the disc in too. I might as well get that in the drive. Let's pop that in the drive. We'll get that going. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Sheila Champion said, Hales, do those glasses have lenses? What would make you think that they don't? These are my professor, my professor Hales glasses. Kelly Bain just sent one dollar. Thank you so much, Kelly. Wow. You got it, Kelly. Okay. Uh, June Levenberger wants to know what kind of drink is that? It looks so good. Okay. Uh, I don't drink, first of all, I don't drink alcohol and you may be going, Oh man, is that because of your religious beliefs or is that because you're an alcoholic or is that because, well, number one, it tastes absolutely horrible, horrible. I don't know why anybody drinks it. Now, usually people then go, well, you haven't tasted the right thing. Well, it tastes horrible. Uh, secondary is I get kidney stones. And so caffeine and alcohol can upset that. And kidney stones, there's two fears when you get kidney stones. When you get it, first you're fearful that you're going to die. And then when you find out what it is, then you're fearful that you're not going to die soon enough because you're done with the pain. It's horrible. So what I drink is a water mix. And these are packets. And uh, it's usually crystal light, lemonade crystal light. And it's mixed with different crushed things. So uh, George came up with this concoction of an orange crush, a cherry crush, and then a crystal light lemonade. In And this has got to be the most incredible, addictive water drink that there is. So uh, that is, that's the hails of a good drink right there. So that's what I'm drinking. So I always, always drink water. And I, I focus on that citric acid because my urologist said I need to get the citric acid in my system. And that breaks down the actual stones in my kidneys. Oh, Naples, Florida. It's 64 degrees in Naples. Uh, and that's near, that's near um, that island I like to go to with all the good shelling. I forget the name of the island right now. 1,011 on right now. Let's see if we can take a look at this other memory card. I'm going to pull it up, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I got to get I got to get these 
I got to get the uh, the super chats first. We got Kelly, and then we're gonna pull it up. So Leanne Kramer says three ninety nine. Are you still doing Friendsgiving? It's okay, Leanne. It's not really that all that angry. There is still Friendsgiving because you can have Friendsgiving with anybody in your life. And so have it with a friend, call it Friendsgiving and be thankful. And so you will find out exactly what's coming. Yeah, that's going to be pretty big. All right. Uh, Veronica Pace, $2. Did anyone take the bedpan? <laughs> Okay, what Veronica is referencing, Veronica is actually referencing uh, Dolomite or Rudy Ray Moore or his legal name, Rudy Frank Moore's bedpan. I actually had his bedpan and I saved it in case somebody wanted it and um, I threw it away. So I saved it and I was going to save it. I kind of said it as a joke because 99% of the things that I say are a joke. And so... Uh, nobody, nobody requested it. Although I kind of thought somebody would, you know, maybe Eddie Murphy or, you know, something along those lines, but Eddie Murphy didn't contact me for the bedpan. So I went ahead and I threw it away because that thing was downright nasty, like nasty, nasty. It was gross. It was really gross. So nope, don't have it anymore. Uh, except Conky's flipping adventures just said, can I get that bedpan, Jeremy? You can, if you can find it in the area dump. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see where we're. Let's pull up. Let's pull up this. Let's pull up this memory card. Except. All right. I got bad news. Memory card says it's not formatted. And if I format it on my laptop, it says it will re erase all the information. So I either format it and you see nothing, or I try and get somebody to figure out what the format is so we can see what's actually on there. Usually Suburban Beard would take care of that for us to see what's on there. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to err on, let's hold off on this one and not erase what's on there yet because there could be something awesome on there. But we do have do have the disc. Oh. Oh, oh. Looking at it right now. Uh the disc is up. So let's whoops. Let's pull this back up. Let's pull the chat back up. We'll get back to the super chats. Ba -ba -boom. Ba -ba -boom. Ba -ba -boom. All right. And next super chat if I could keep this screen going right. Next super chat is Margaret. Margaret sends a $2 super chat and says, says it's better to be high on life. 100% agree. A lot of people say, Jeremy, do you drink coffee? Uh, why are you so upbeat all the time? How do you have so much energy? It's the way God wired me. I don't drink coffee when the alarm goes off in the morning. If I use an alarm, I just jump right out of bed. I'm one of those people when the sun is up, I'm up. So sun's up, guns up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so often I won't drink any caffeine, but if I'm out to eat anywhere and I don't have my water, it's, it's always going to be a Mountain Dew. But that's never a good idea for my system, though, either. So we got to be careful with that. Uh, JW, I just saw it. JW somebody, it's gone already. You guys know how fast this goes. JW somebody said, Jeremy, I want to meet you in PA. I'm sure we can arrange that to happen because soon the road traveling begins and it's going to be awesome. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Jane, Jane Charlotte just said, Manny, we thought, we thought George was stealing you back. Where's Manny? Is Manny is Manny in here? Justin Brown said Jeremy Manny was here. Where's Manny? Uh, Storage Legends said, Jer Bear, we are going live on Tuesday. Storage Legends is going to have What the Hails live on their channel Tuesday. So if he puts in a time, you can check that out. We're going to be live on 
Storage Legends. Crockers, Lockers, Where's Manny? I don't even, where's Manny? Tell Green where he goes. Uh, Kelly Bain wants to know, Jeremy, when are you guys coming to Maryland? Well, here's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to actually figure out a travel plan of what state we're going to be, when we're going to be, and we're going to unveil an actual process of us coming to you. There'll be an application process. And so we will unveil that uh, in the time ahead. It's just not going to be today. And oh, Storage Chaser said, Jeremy, I had an idea for a future live. Try having some on the new up and coming channels Oh, it's going so fast, I can't keep up. Lost it, lost it, lost it. Uh, storage Chaser said, Jeremy, I had an idea for a future live. Try having some on the new and upcoming channels. Get them a shout out and a chance to market their channels on a larger scale. I think that's a great idea. How about you, Storage Chasers? Go live, do the exact same thing. It's not just us that can do this. You can do this too. So it's a great idea. Go ahead, move forward with it. That'd be a great thing for you to help other channels as well. And I just lost Mick Draper's Buck 99, I want to meet you all in Florida. Here we go, Mick. I want to be in Florida all winter long. Why anybody stays in Ohio, I have no idea. Um, okay, let's see. We got 1,042. Let's figure out what's on this disc, okay? We're going to pull the disc up because I think I have, I think I have all the Super Chats caught up. And okay. Let's put the view on extra large icons. All right, so here's the disc. Where's the disc? You guys see the disc? There is two, four, six, eight. There are 10 different files on this disc. So let's try one. Oh, you know what? I don't know if this is going to work. These are... See, what will happen if I take the mute off of here and if I play this with the sound, it'll go through a rumbling repeat like crazy. And so it'll echo from here to here to here to here. And it's like a never ending echo. So what it is, I'm just going to show you what it is. It is an actual CD of music. And I'm playing track one right now. I'll, I'll unmute it for just a second, but realize this is going to go crazy. Nobody say anything. I'm going to do a five-second pause so nothing reverbs back and forth, and I'm going to play just a little bit of this music. All right, so there you go. We got some grunge. <laughs> and hopefully that didn't mess up in your speakers. So it looks like we have a CD of grunge here. Um, it's probably a burned CD of grunge. So that's what we have right there. There are 10 tracks on there. So on one memory card, we have an inflatable blow-up dowel. On another memory card, we've got formatting issues. There's stuff on there, but my, my PC isn't ready to format it. And then on here, we've got 10 tracks of actual grunge. Okay. That being said, we still have to figure out how much Mike Wolf paid for the actual vintage Harley Davidson this week. I got to tell you, that was an awesome experience. Never... Never in my life did I think, number one, that I would find a vintage Harley Davidson. Okay. Uh, number two, that I would actually find it with a partner, that being Second Sense. And because I've always, I've always held the position, why in the world would you ever partner with somebody on a unit? Because if you're going to split a unit with somebody, who gets what? You get the left side, you get the right side, you get the back side, I get the front side. Uh, you get all the expensive stuff, I get all the garbage. How's that all work? And so, or it would be the issue of, well, we'll split all the profit. And I already know how that all ends up happening because people don't match my work ethic. So I end up doing all the work. And then they want all the profit or all the money, right? Well, I don't agree with that. If you're gonna, you're gonna have to match my work ethic to match my money, and um, it's not just gonna be a free for all for anybody. So I've never ever partnered with anybody, but I did with Rob, and that's because he had the auction house. He has a staff, and so finding that was an absolutely incredible thing. And the first unit I've ever partnered on with anybody. And I'm, 
the only other unit that I've ever partnered on is Justin with the Dude Perfect unit, which stay tuned because there's going to be some amazing stuff coming with that as well. But that was Justin actually reaching out to me and saying, hey, you know, you've been so good to us. I want to I want to give some of that back to you. And I'd love for you to be a part of this. And I flew right down because of that. And so I can't thank Justin enough for even allowing me to be a part of that because that was all him. hundred percent. He was just gracious enough to include me in it. So that was just unique that we found it. And then it wasn't because we contacted Mike. It was because a viewer on YouTube actually contacted Mike. And if you didn't see the video, we share with you who that viewer is. Now, we got a t-shirt for him. It's just It just boggles my mind. October a year ago, I started taking YouTube serious. I wanted to see what it could do. And it was... Um, it's absolutely incredible what has happened. The family that has been built from that and the friendships that have been built from that. And other people would be uh, would say not family and not friends. They would say uh, people taking advantage of people from that. But uh, the family and friends that have actually been grown from that have been incredible. And can't, can't thank uh, you as viewers enough for that because without you, it, it never would have happened. What I'm trying to get at is it never would have happened that we would have sold a vintage Harley Davidson to Mike Wolf of American Pickers. And we could have got more money. There's no doubt. But it was so cool just to have that experience to sell. Afterwards, I was like, wow, that really just happened. It, it did. It happened. And it wouldn't have happened without the power of networking of YouTube, without 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 you guys watching and reaching out. So uh, I can't thank you guys enough for what you do for us every single day. And Nathan King just sent a dollar ninety nine. He asked the question, "Do you buy units in Columbus?" Nathan, absolutely, I buy a lot in Columbus. Uh oh, oh! Careful, you won't like him when he's angry. So Nathan, I do and have bought uh, units in Columbus. I've rarely found anything good in Columbus. Typically what I find in Columbus is a lot of garbage. Now that's because it's inner city. The This is just my experience and it doesn't mean it's 100% across the board. Remember that. Inner city typically means junkier units. Uh, it's cheap housing or somebody gets evicted and they, nine times out of 10, somebody gets evicted, they go to jail, they have to put all their stuff into a unit, okay? Unit I was in today, I got it for a dollar. And there's some incredible stuff in there. I found, okay, there's some incredible stuff in there. You're gonna have to wait this week to see the actual videos, but it's jail. They put everything in the units because they went to jail. And that's typically what I see in the city. Whereas if I get away from the city, I see more collections or collectibles. So Cleveland, inner city Cleveland is really rough and inner city Columbus is really rough in regards to what I find there. I've never, I've never really scored, scored, scored. And I typically see a lot of garbage there. So that's my take on that area, Nathan. Now, some people are going to tell you, Hey, you know, go to a different area, location, location, location. The reality is this, you never, ever, ever know what's behind the door. You're never going to know. As soon as the door goes up, it, there could be there could be seven point five million dollars in there. There could be a hundred thousand dollars in gold bars that you don't even see. There could be you've seen us find fifteen thousand dollars of jewelry. You've seen us. I mean, you you name it. You see it, and boom, it's in that. It's in there. All right. See, taking a risk. George George just sent a uh, super chat two dollars, and uh, oh, there we go. Boom. All right. Uh, right after my live here, after the What the Hails live, Taking a Risk is going to be doing his very first live ever. He's hit some incredible milestones in the shortest amount of time. It's been amazing what George George has been able to accomplish here on YouTube. And I'm sure you're going to want to celebrate with him afterwards as well. So after the What the Hails live, make sure you jump over to Taking a Risk with George George. He's going to be going live immediately after this one. And we're soon going to share with you what Mike Wolf paid for the actual vintage Harley Davidson. Uh, Storage Legends says he needs his first employee. So anybody who's looking 
for actual work. Storage Legends is hiring. I see that right there. Uh, Ramona Gonzalez said, this is where you find the Nikes that match the shorts and shoes in the hood. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> there's a lot of truth to that. There really is. Okay. Uh, oh, Grimes Fines just sent $20. The Dude Perfect Auction. It's open. Check it out. Grimes. Grimes, can you put the link in there? Oh, he just did. He just did. So the Dude Perfect Auction is open. Make sure you check that out afterwards as well. If you want to get any of that Dude Perfect merchandise, it's there. You can own a very, very own, your very own piece of Dude Perfect history. They've never released anything before to the public. And here they are. It's here Justin is releasing it to the public through his auction house for the first time ever. So if you want to get your hands on some of that, make sure you check that out as well. And make sure you check out George George. All right. You want to know how much we got for the actual? If you want to know, put Hales yes. If you want to know how much we got for the motorcycle, let us know. Uh, Terry McLean says George shared it last night. Uh, they've already shared what George shared last night. It's not the right number. So uh, George's memory is not all there. And and they're saying Hales yes, Hales yes, Hales yes. So what George shared is not the right number. I see a lot of good, I see a lot of good guesses or what they said George shared was not the right number. I didn't hear what George shared. So, um, so what I saw already that they said George shared, that was not the right number. All right. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing our closing song. And at the end of the song, I'm going to tell you exactly how much Mike Wolf played. And then we can all jump over to taking a risk. If you want to know how much Mike Wolf paid for the Harley, type Hales Yes. If you want to know how much Mike Wolf paid for the Harley, type Hales Yes. What rhymes with Harley? Bar wheat and barley. Uh, me and Marley. If you want to know how much Mike paid for the Harley, like and then afterwards go out for some meat and barley if you want to know how much mike paid for the harley type hills yes I, I think people i think people want to know want to know how much mike paid for the harley type hills yes if you want to know how much Mike paid for the Harley, top is yeah, yeah. If you want to know how much Mike paid for the Harley, and then afterwards you can go out and drink some meat and barley. If you want to know how much Mike paid for the Harley, top is yes. Oh, gnarly, very deathly deals, gnarly, yeah. Well, it is gnarly. So, all right, give me your guesses now. We're gonna play higher or lower. Give me a guess. How much do you think he? I'm gonna I'm gonna rein it in for you. How much do you think he paid? All right, Lynn Pegg says my guess is thirty eight hundred. The answer is higher. Give me another guess. Um, somebody said twenty three. Napoleon said twenty three thousand five hundred. Lower. Uh, somebody said fifteen thousand. Lower. Somebody said 6,000, higher. Somebody said 4,500, higher. Somebody said 20,000, lower. Somebody said two, higher. Somebody said 8,200, lower. Somebody said 7,800, lower. Somebody said 6,000, higher. Somebody said 7,200, higher. Somebody said, did I just, somebody said 7,700, it's lower. Somebody said 7,600, it's lower. And for the win, I can't, you guys are so fast on this right now. I can't even pick up who's getting it. All right, somebody just said 
Somebody said 7,500. If you guessed 7,500, you are absolutely correct. And George got 50% of that sale, and Rob of Second Sense got 50% of that sale. So George made that much money. What would that be? That'd be $3,725. Check my math. $3,725 in one sale, in one day. Selling to Mike Wolf on American Pickers. Don't forget to head over to Taking a Risk for his very first live ever. You want to be there to celebrate with him. Jump on over. It's been a fun night. Thanks so much for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. If I can figure out how to end the stream. Good night.